Chattanooga, Tennessee, GWRC Bill Bet you've gotten a robocall on your phone this week. These annoying calls about student loans, the IRS or debt reduction interruptions are one of the most annoying time wasters of our generation. I wish I had better news but it's getting worse, even if you signed up for the Do Not Call Registry. The Do Not Call Registry is almost 15 years old but you're probably getting more robocalls than ever. Get this in 15 years the FTC has enforced the law a total of just 131 times. You know, it's never worked, says the Better Business Bureau's Kathleen Callaghan. Scammers don't care if you're not on the do not call list. Reputable telemarketers generally abide by the law, the problem is that the scammers calling you are from other countries so trying to enforce the law is impossible and technology is making it worse. The crooks don't need phones anymore. They're using computers, explains Callaghan. They don't even have to pay for banks and banks of telephone lines anymore. Dozens of robocall companies advertise their services on the internet and they're always coming up with new tricks. In the last several months, scammers have learned to spoof local numbers. The FTC reports last year only 4% of robocalls were from local numbers but by July they accounted for 2% of all robocalls. You can block the number, but the scammers keep changing it. So what's the answer hang up? You can also download a call block app, but you've got to be careful there too. Listen to this one there are some apps the scammers have put out there, said Callaghan. Some of these apps actually give a scammer total access of what you're doing on your phone. The apps could also cause more robocalls to reach your phone. At least two apps are safe to use. Nomorobo uses a database of bad numbers and blocks them from ringing your phone. It also blocks numbers reported by other users. Umail is another this one not only blocks calls but if it suspects a robocall it answers with an automated message that says your number is out of service which should remove it from the scammer's call list. There's one thing you should never do, and that's press a button during a call, even if it says one will remove you from the list. You'll tell the scammer your phone is in service and you'll get more calls. And unfortunately, the annoying problem will get worse as scammers are using something called ringless voicemail which will leave a voicemail message without the phone even ringing.